Now, your Storm Tracker team forecast with meteorologist Ashley Renee. Welcome back. Happy Thursday morning. Hopefully your morning's going well so far. It's 67 degrees here in Baton Rouge and it's feeling pretty nice and comfortable outside and our winds are still light and out of the northeast. But now taking a quick look, quick look at the tropics. So in the southern Gulf, we're still just monitoring an area of disorganized showers and thunderstorms. Development chances have come down a little bit more so now to 30% for tropical development over the next seven days. So while development chances still are looking a little unlikely at this time, again, we're still just monitoring this area where we could try to could possibly see a tropical depression still trying to form within a few days. But as of now, no immediate concerns for Louisiana, but we will have some tropical moisture moving in, which will bring in some rain to us between today and the next couple of days. So temperatures currently in the 60s all around South Louisiana. And for now, there are still showers over the Gulf, but again, the rain hasn't reached us just yet. Today's highs will be near 90 degrees, 90 for Baton Rouge, 87 for Gonzales, and 89 for Jackson, Louisiana. Louisiana. And looking at the future track, cloud coverage will increase more so throughout the day. We'll start to see some showers in the bayou parishes and along the coast and in the greater New Orleans area, possibly before the morning ends. And then as we continue through the afternoon and into this Thursday evening, we should see a few showers moving into the greater Baton Rouge area. So for pickup time when you're getting your kid from school, if you have somewhere to be this afternoon or this evening, still make sure you have a rain jacket or an umbrella with you just to be on the safe side. And we could still see a few showers continue continuing later tonight and during the overnight hours, but this will mainly be isolated activity occurring. Overnight low temps will be in the upper 60s to low 70s, so Friday morning will be a tad bit warmer and tomorrow's highs will be in the upper 80s. So Friday morning, we'll see a few showers in our area during the morning commute, and then as we continue into the lunchtime hours and into the rest of your Friday afternoon, we'll still see isolated showers here and there and gradually continuing to clear out more so by Friday evening. So if you had plans to be at the high school football games or any other event still have that rain jacket just to be prepared but we should be a bit drier by that time and still looking at isolated showers possibly possibly for saturday afternoon and evening sunday a drier day with partly cloudy skies and thanks to this drier air that's going to be moving in behind the next cold front it won't feel as muggy anymore again this increase in moisture is going to have to be more muggy between today and this weekend but then it'll start to feel more pleasant again early next week once that cold front moves out and we'll have highs in the mid 80s for Tuesday and Wednesday and morning lows near 60 on Tuesday and Wednesday mornings.